that is a phenomenon that we see because economic downturn is a trigger for emotions. As the pandemic moves past the eight month mark, the strain on families is perhaps hitting children the hardest. 81% increase in child abuse that doctors are spotting at a Radies Children's Hospital. San Diego District Attorney Summer Steffen says, and studies over the last decade bear it out, that during times of economic struggles, there's an increase in child abuse. That coupled with a pandemic is making matters worse, but the data is not in what's reported, but rather in what's not. Reports of child abuse are actually down by 40%. They're the teachers, counselors, and all of the people associated with our kids' schools. That's where we get the most reports of child abuse. The eyes and the ears that are normally there as a protective safeguard for kids are no longer there. And child abuse is not the only threat. Crimes against children online have quadrupled since March, as kids are distance learning on tablets, computers, and phones, giving unlimited access to child sexual predators. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children actually noted in their investigation, reverse investigations, that predators are talking about COVID. And she says once the child takes the bait via an online platform like Instagram or TikTok, from there it's fairly easy and quick to gain trust and exploit them, or worse. It often starts with a dare of taking off an item of clothing, then it's two items of clothing. And many of these kids are too young to even understand how disturbing this is. They often think that they're talking to somebody their own age when they're really talking to a 50, 60 year old predator. And for more information about how to recognize these issues and talk to your children about them, just head to San Diego DA.com. From outside Rady Children's Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News.